Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all had a very, very nice Easter weekend. We did. I didn't get the Monday and Friday off, so I had to work, but still had a great weekend. Today I wanted to sit down and do a kind of quick little haul video of a few things that I've picked up. This is from, let's see, January till about now, so about three and a half months. And it is a kind of a mix of stuff. I've got some shoes in there, I've got one bag, a few items of clothing, some makeup, accessories. So it's kind of a wide range of things, but I just wanted to um, get on here and kind of show you, give you first impressions. Two of the items I have not used, so I cannot give you first impressions on that. I will link everything down below, and I hope you enjoy this video. So I will get started. I think I'm going to start with the beauty things, which is actually only, there's a couple things. So let's get going. Sorry, I forgot two things, so I had to go get them. I'm going to start with a brush. So I got this Artiste brush. I use it for foundation and I love it because it's so quick and easy. It has the little thing for where you put your finger and you just kind of brush it all over. The only thing I will say with this brush is it uses a lot more foundation and it also is, it can be kind of hard to clean to get all the foundation out but for the mornings it's so quick and easy it literally takes you like two seconds to brush your foundation all over your face. So I got this, I think I picked this up at sacks online and uh, I did it with the coupon cabin thing that I think I have I think I mentioned that in a video I think I did it with the artiste brushes because I uh, also purchased a set last year so I got cash back so I will also link coupon cabin down below so you can see because I use that all the time and I want to say with anything here that I purchased I use that if I could so yeah just the artiste I think it's called the I'm not sure of the actual name. Oh, it's the Palm Brush. So, I don't know if that's gonna focus. But yes, so, and it's, the fibers are so dense in this. So it's a great brush. Okay, the second item I got is the By Terry Silly Rose Brightening CC Serum. And I got it in Sunny Flash. This is what it looks like. So I'm not sure if it's gonna focus. I picked this up from the Bloomingdale's website because I had a gift card so I was able to use that. I was kind of worried about the colour because I believe there's four colours and I wasn't sure which one to get but I wanted something that was going to give my skin like a nice sunny glow, which is called Sunny Flash. But I just wasn't sure if this was going to be too dark but I actually really like it. It does give the skin just such a nice finish and then obviously you put the makeup on but it's just, it, it's got a nice luminosity finish to it so it's very, it, it's a really nice product. One of those ones that's kind of a luxury product uh, and that's why I used a gift card just because I wanted to try it but yeah I really really like this. I picked up the other day, I also used a gift card for this, I just picked up my uh, powder that I use, it's the Studio, Studio Fix by MAC and I use NW22 but I just like to dust this over my foundation. I find that it sets it and it also gives kind of a little bit of extra coverage to whatever I'm wearing. But yeah, just I've used this for years, so this was just a repurchase. The next two items are lip products and I am not usually a huge, I don't usually wear a lot of lip products, but I went to see the Fifty Shades of Grey movie with a friend and I just thought her makeup in it looked really good and I had read some of the lip products she used so I decided to pick them up. I wasn't aware of either of the brands. So the first one I got is the, I may say this name completely wrong, Ilio and I got it in Arabian Nights. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of, it's kind of, it looks way darker in this but it's more like a tinted, I'm not sure if that's going to focus, it's more like a tinted lip balm but it gives a really nice finish to the lips and it's a really nice colour and it also doesn't dry your lips out. So that's the first one, Ilia, and I believe they had a, if you sign up for the emails you get 10% or 15% off, so I, I tried that and I really like that, I keep that in my bag. The second one, I have not used, I think I've only used this once and I don't know why because I want to use it more, but it is the Glossier, again I'm not sure if that's going to show up, in my and this is in Jam. So this is also quite scary and I don't really have a lot of, I haven't used this a whole bunch to kind of give you my thoughts on it, but I'm really excited. This is the one you see her using at the ball in the bathroom, I believe. That is everything beauty wise. Let's do accessories. So 
These are the Porsche design, I believe they're the 8748 8, or I will link them below because I'm not 100% sure but they look like this. They are kind of bigger aviators but the cool thing about these is you can change the lenses on them so you just pop this bit up right here it opens up and then you can change the lenses and they actually came with these lenses and some black lenses so I don't have the black ones down here but you it's essentially you're getting two pairs of sunglasses for one um, so I really like these I was kind of worried when I I've had my eye on these for months and I just didn't ever pull the trigger because there's different sizes and I was not sure what size to get they're also if you buy them from some of the bigger department stores they can they're quite pricey so just a mix of that but I finally pulled the trigger and I found a website that had them over 50% off and I just went with the second to largest size because I wanted them oversized but I didn't want them huge but I mean just massive so I actually got the 66 millimeter size so I would be happy to do a review on these if anyone is interested because there are different sizes and kind of show you how they open close and every the case they come in but yeah I've been wearing these non-stop since I got them I'm gonna do the other accessory and this was actually something that was sent to me so there will be a blog post coming up on this and I'll make sure when the post is up that I link it below so it came in this big box and it is by Jord I was actually very surprised at the packaging because it comes in this really cool box so it is a watch <clears throat> so it's just a magnetic box comes off like that and the watch is sized, no it's going to fit and this is what was sent. So it is a wooden watch with a black face. I am so excited to wear this. I haven't even taken the tag off yet but it looks like this. I haven't set the time yet either. It's surprisingly light which is really nice and I like that it's just got a, you know, it's kind of a big face but I also like the dark wood with the dark face and they have a ton of different ones. This is just the one I really liked so I will link this below and like I said I will link the blog post as well and then you also get the extra links they send those as well okay the next few items are some clothing items so I will start with these are some some lululemon I guess they call them tights or leggings I'm not sure but they have I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this they have the mesh back I don't know if that shows yeah that kind of goes up about halfway and then it goes up through here but it's obviously it's got a back so it's not see-through whereas the legs are more see-through but yeah I've been trying to work out a lot more I've been doing more spin and so I absolutely love these they are great and I love how like how fitted they are so they and they stay up really well so I picked up those and then I also picked up one of their sports bras just kind of a grey one and it has the mesh back as well but I've been enjoying that as well uh, we have a Lululemon store right down the road so it's the first time in my first experience with it but I have heard they wash very well and they last well so I'm excited to try those then the only other piece of clothing is a shirt and I got this for work but also just to wear with jeans and it is equipment and it has these bumblebees on it but it's just kind of a long shirt that I can wear to work with a skirt or trousers or I can just put with jeans and a blazer and it looks nice I like that it was white and black I was kind of worried that it was going to be too see-through but it's it's not so uh that and I got this off I think I got this off Net-a-Porter it was on sale I want to say over 50% off as well on the topic of work I also needed just some plain black shoes because my other pair from this same company I've worn them I pretty much worn them out so the, this company, I don't know if I say it right, M. Jemmy, but they sent out, I guess they sent out an email by accident, so they sent out a coupon just to apologise, which I thought was really nice. So I decided to go ahead and just purchase these plain black shoes. I actually have them in nude, but they are patent or patent leather, so I wanted to try just the regular leather. But I find their shoes wear really well, they're classic. I'm excited to try these, just simple black flats. I have one more pair of shoes. So the shoes are these sandals. They are some Valentino rock studs. So they kind of go up. They've got the three buckles. I purchased these online from Harrods, which I found 
saved me an absolute fortune on them. I have had my eye on these also for a while. I never knew if I actually wanted to get any of the sandals, but I really like these. I think they will be great with shorts and dresses. I will link where I got them because, like I said, buying them in America from England with the exchange rate, I just saved a lot. You have to be very sure of your sizing because of the shipping cost, but you still end up saving a fortune. And if you get if you have your Harrods card, you get points. It's just a points card. So I picked up those. I'm really excited to wear those as, you know, with the warm weather. So my last purchase was about a month and a half ago. <clears throat> it is the um, Chanel Mini with silver hardware and it's the square. This is what it looks like. I have used this bag a lot since I got it. I used it for brunch today. I used it for St. Patty's Day. It's just such a good little bag. It's such a classic. I actually bought mine pre-loved because they're quite hard to find. So it was in excellent condition. Came with everything but the box. But I just, I love it. And so to me it was kind of my, I had a big birthday about a month ago. So this was something that I have wanted for a while and saved up for. And I've also, I have a, I have a Celine Nano, which I have a review on. And I love that bag, but I've decided to sell that to to because I wanted this one and I just I like to have one in one out if I'm gonna buy a bag unless it's something com unless it's a bag that's something completely different in my collection and I've used the Celine Nano I really like it but with my bag collection I'm I want to use every bag and even though I use the Nano I know that I'm probably more likely to grab this bag over the Nano and so that is why I will be selling that one I mean, it's so nice to have to go out for dinner because it's, I mean, it doesn't carry very much. I've got a small, inside I've got my wallet in there. But, so it's not very big. You can fit a wallet, a phone, lipstick, and maybe keys. But yeah, if you would like a review on that, please just let me know, because I would be happy to do one. And there is a review on my Celine. I will make sure I link everything below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, and let me know if there's any other videos you would like me to do. I'm trying to get kind of a list together and a schedule so that I can be more consistent with my posting. So I, like I said, I hope you guys have a nice weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.